Hello, and welcome to day six of the booktube -thon. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty rough. Today's challenge was to make a literary road trip, so I thought I'd do a literary road trip of all of the places that I have lived. So we're gonna start off in Alabama. I found a good deal of books that take place in Alabama, like Alice in Zombieland by Janesha Walter. This one takes place, I think, in Birmingham for the most part, and sort of on the outskirts. It's kind of where I lived, not too far from Birmingham. Also, we have Rebel Bell, which takes place in a fictional town in Alabama that I'm going to compare to the Stadia Hillsish. It's kind of an affluent part. Next is Looking for Alaska by John Green, which surprisingly does not take place in Alaska. It also takes place in a fictional town in Alabama. The last one I want to mention for Alabama is To Kill a Mockingbird, which kind of represents where I'm from the most. Not the racism, but more of the small towniness. In college, I moved to Tennessee for a few years. Tennessee books are An Abundance of Catherine's, also by John Green. This one doesn't start in Tennessee, but it ends up there. I had a hard time finding any more, so I did a little research and I found out that Hourglass, which is a book I've been meeting to read, takes place there. And also The Color Purple, which is one of my all-time favorite books, takes place there towards the end. Next is Where I Live Now, which is Northwest Arkansas. Books from Arkansas include Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley, which I haven't read, but here is great. Also, one of my favorite books from my childhood, Where the Red Fern Grows, which if you didn't read and cry about in fourth grade, there's something wrong with you. Also, Why the Caged Bird Sings by the wonderful Maya Angelou. Lastly, I thought I'd throw in a wild card. During a summer in college, I spent a month in Scotland, so I picked Outliner by Diana Gabaldon to represent that. So, this is my life's locations in books. <laughs> As an update on the Booktubeathon, I have one book left. It is my book to movie adaptation, and for it, I chose Reese Kingdom Falling by Greg Cox. I really enjoy the writing in this, but there's not a lot that is pushing me to read it. It's the only book I have left because after two all nighters, I finished my read at night book, Magonia. Uh, thoughts, thoughts on it. This is all I have. I can do it. You can do it too. What do you have left to do in the Booktubeathon? Let me know down below. And thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Like a, like a, like a boy,